Hello. You know, there's a lot of work can be done with simulation, but ultimately it's truth on the ground. In other words, the actual circuit that it really matters. So when you've done your modeling and your calculations and you're ready to really find out if your snubber circuits work, then you have to be able to go and make measurements. Of course, actually, initially, you have to start with measurements to understand what do you need in a way of snubber. In other words, what's your problem? What is the circuit doing that you don't like? All right. That's where you start, and there you will use voltage probes, but also current probes. All right. Then, once you have the basic information, you go back to the simulation, do your design work, and you come back to the laboratory and put in your modifications and see just how close are they. Are they good enough or do we need to make some adjustments? The key item is to look very critically at your waveforms. Understand on your waveforms what every wiggle is about. And do you want that wiggle or don't you? Okay. The key is to understand what is causing the wiggle. All right, Because if you want to eliminate it, Okay, then you have to you have to know what's causing it. Well, there are two basic tools that go with an oscilloscope for checking and understanding the waveforms. The first, of course, is a voltage probe, and you can see we can connect this one in right here, and we turn in our power supply, and we can get some of the waveforms the voltage waveforms that are in there. But also, there's a more critical item. It turns out you not only want to look at the voltage waveforms, but you want to look at the current waveforms. And there are, of course, many kind, types of current probes. I mean, the simplest, you can put a resistor in, okay, a series resistor in the path you want to measure, and then measure either unbalanced or in a balanced way with voltage probes to determine what the current is uh, at a given point. And then, of course, if you're a little more elegant, you can use various forms of uh, current probes. This happens, example happens to be an AC current probe, which is useful, but there are also DC current probes, which allow you to see both the AC and the DC components. And in power supplies, very often you do want to see what is the AC component floating on an, an, a DC component. For example, output filters, input currents, things of that nature. So these are two fundamental tools. Now, with voltage probes, it's not very hard to clip them various places in the circuit. Current probes, you have to be a little more clever. You have to put some loops in, usually. Usually you have to actually interrupt the circuit and put a little a loop in there. And you've got to be a little careful, of course. That loop will introduce some uh, parasitic inductance, and it may modify things a little. And also, there's the capacitance of the probe itself, the voltage probe. So normally, you'd run the voltage probe uh, on high attenuation to minimize its capacitance. These are just basic ideas okay, to gather the information you need to design your snubber circuit and then in the end to verify that the snubber really works.